All right. As with all of our state association recap episodes, we always love to bring in one of the leaders to talk about successes over the last year, key initiatives this upcoming year, and just some general exciting things going on. So, uh, uh, Roy, I'm really glad to have you on here. We've got Arturo Roy Flores, who is the NYSATA, NYSATA, past president, um, just uh, stepped down and uh, is also an athletic trainer at NYU. And he gave a really great overview at the meeting about some some things going on with the state. So, Roy, thanks for, for joining us. And can we really just jump into first looking back over this last year? What are some NYSATA successes and some things that you're proud of with athletic training in the state of New York? Sure. I mean, I, if you talk to a lot of people, you know, a lot of people come up to me at the end of the, of the meeting and they said, it must have been tough being a leader during COVID. And mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of people that you've spoken to have said the same thing, whether they're a leader in their association or they're a leader at their institution. Um, I think that the biggest, the biggest thing that we were able to do is kind of create this network, right? So NYSATA has always been noticed as a legislative push. NYSATA mm-hmm. is going to be an association that's going to push for legislation because of the le- legislative woes in New York City regarding practice acts and li- athletic trainers and licensures and everything to that sort. So the campaign that I ran with for the last two years has been to push NYSATA as a network and as a family because only athletic trainers understand what athletic trainers do. And I think it is really important to say I'm an athletic trainer in New York. I know other athletic trainers in New York. I can lean on them. And I also want to hear what are some of the successes they have individually? What are some of their professional growths? And what are things that can help me become a better athletic trainer in New York? As well as hear what else is happening within the state. One of the things we also wanted to do is we, we had a meeting with Tufts through the KSI, which is a team up for sports safety. And one of the initiatives there is even though it was secondary school based is to come up with best practices for the state. What are the things that we can do in order to say, hey, this is how we streamline it. So no matter where you go in the state, this is the process you're going to have. Obviously, that has to be a continued uh, conversation with all the people and all the stakeholders involved. But I think it was good to have that that go along with it. Um, But that's. That's pretty much it, right? I mean, we, like I said, we want to make sure that athletic trainers are family. We want to make sure that we are a resource for, for the athletic trainers in our state. And we want to make sure that all the athletic trainers, whether you are registered with NYSATA or not, um, know that we're there for you and we can help you out. Obviously, we'd love you to be a member, mm-hmm. right? So that we can get all your contact information. You can get all the information from our newsletters and, and such. But we also want to help you out to, to become a better professional in the state. Absolutely. And building on that, what are we doing looking forward? What, what's the, the next year's initiative is going to be, you know, as you are stepping down and handing over to Lauren, uh, what's the focus in the state of New York? Sure. Lauren, you know, I think she said it really well during, um, during the meeting, during our membership meeting. She came up to the podium. She said she's going to continue to push the effort and the effort being trying to be as transparent as possible so that everyone understands what's going on in the state. Everyone is aware and educated as far as what our needs are in the state and what we're working on and how we're doing things. Um, And the bigger push is going to be communication, again, to make sure that everyone hears what's going on. So it's not just, hey, this is the end of our season. We got to make this big push as we have in the past 10 years of pushing this this licensure. But we also want to make sure they're hearing all the good things and all the other things that are happening. Um, Region 6, which is the Rochester area, is hosting its second annual golf outing. Uh, Region 7 is doing a whole bunch of educational stuff. Down in New York City in the past, we've had socials and, and other events where, where distributors would come in and, and give us an opportunity to network as well as showcase what their new products are and everything else. So it's, it's all about trying to keep engagement and trying to get the members to stay involved. Obviously, a lot of the things out there is you can hear people say, hey, keep advocating, keep advocating. But if you don't know how to advocate, that's where we step in and we can provide you that resource. I appreciate you framing it that way. And going back to your first comment before about, you know, it's an athletic training family. It's an athletic training community in New York. And, and really, there is there is a sense of shared responsibility. There is personal accountability, professional accountability. There is association accountability. What are some calls to action for athletic trainers in New York? How can they be involved, play a role in those initiatives? And, and also, can we speak to the fact that New York is very much spread out. And, and I think in, in my time understanding and, and experiencing and, and talking with New York athletic trainers, it seems like there's definitely challenges, you know, with regions being 
you know, spread out, being different, athletic trainers uh, being able to come together. Um, I, I know we're also hoping for for more attendance at future meetings uh, and just having a, a bigger group like that. So what can athletic trainers in New York do to build bridges like that and to be a part of those initiatives? Sure. I mean, I think the biggest thing is just be aware, right? So make sure that up north in Region 4, we don't have a lot of schools or everybody is spread out. You know, we make fun of what we call it Southern Canada, but we <laughs> want to spread, you know, they are spread out to a sense, but also to feel that they can rely on anybody from our association. So we do have representatives that far north. Um, New York City and Long Island are very condensed. So there are, you know, the number of athletic trainers in those two regions can probably outnumber the other, the other eight regions, or sorry, the other six regions that we have, just by the sheer number and, and how everyone's piled on on top of one another. But in the same vein, are, is all the communication getting to them because of all the stuff that they are doing and all the, all the things that are New York City and Long Island. So we want to make sure that at least they're getting, they have the opportunity to get the information, whether that's being on our social media and going to our website and looking at the emails that are coming through from their representatives, you know, with their region reps. We also want to hear from them. What are, what are the things that you want to see in your state? What are some of the things that you want to do? Um, as a leader, it's not my goal to tell everyone in the membership where to do and where to go. As a leader, it's our role to take all the feedback in and move the society and move the association and that's, that's beneficial for all the membership. And yes, you're gonna squash some people and yes, people are gonna be upset with you with the way things are going. But at the end of the day, they'll appreciate on the benefits that you've provided to them. Well, I appreciate that perspective. I know that uh, your, your, your athletic trainers in New York really appreciate all of your efforts over the last few years with your involvement as a president elect and then president and you know now past president so thank you so much for all you do for our profession for the athletic trainers in the great state of new york and uh, your contact info is in the bottom uh, i know your email is changing because of moving to your new role so i'll make sure that's clear in, in the bottom uh, i know you're active on social media as well so people can always find you that way really appreciate everything you're doing thank you so much for your efforts and for uh, having this conversation and doing this recap ryan thanks so much and thanks for attending our conference hope to see you at the next one you bet it will make it happen. Have a great day. Thank you.